what is going on with Etsy this past week? And does even Etsy know what's going on with Etsy? That is the question. And the primary cause for concern that has basically just flooded Etsy Facebook groups in the past week with posts of people getting suspended on Etsy, listings being deactivated for handmade violation without Etsy really saying if it was mock-ups or not mock-ups. The jury is still undecided on all the things that are going on. Some shops have gotten Etsy chat support snapshots that Etsy has said, yes, it's the mock-ups, but other people have gotten snapshots that Etsy has said to them. Their chat support has put, no, it's not the mockups. You can use mockups for listings on Etsy, which leads to why I'm making this video because I did want to calm the panic down quite a bit so we can go over what we know with the situation, what we don't know, and how to navigate the situation as we go forward. So as I'm making this video, I do wanna first address that I am not a representative by Etsy. All that I'm talking about is only hypotheses and theories. And really, if Etsy comes out with a statement, I will be going over that in a future updated video. But I do want to say that I am just a Etsy seller on the platform. I'm a YouTuber and this is just my theories, why I think this all is happening and sharing what I have found as evidence provided by me through messages. I have had with a lot of different Etsy sellers. I've seen so many different posts in the Facebook groups that I've been a part of. I am a owner of one of those groups, Print On Demand Friends on Facebook, and we have had several people in those groups and members of those groups posting about their issues and recent findings with what is all going on in the universe of Etsy chaos right now. And through that knowledge, I've also created a Etsy listing deactivation survey in which I surveyed a lot of people who got deactivated on why they were deactivated to pull some more data that by no means can I conclude anything it is up to Etsy and their public statement and addressing this issue head on on what is going on. But from the data that I've pulled, I want to go over what we know, what we don't know, and what you can do what I'm doing as we go forward and navigating through this issue. I plan to make updates of this video if we have any updates. Etsy in the past has not updated us about things and just let sellers kind of have mass chaos until it dies down. We had this mock-up issue a few years back actually and maybe some sellers who are in here or watching this video right now have went through that period of time. Maybe some sellers are new to this but this is not a first go around with mock-up crises on Etsy. We had a huge scare a few years back when mock-ups were suspended and taken taken down and deactivated and people had the same theories where it was like, oh, mockups are not allowed on Etsy at all now. But to give my opinion, and this is just a theory, I don't think Etsy would deactivate so many listings that take up at Etsy every single month and every single year. The amount of listings on Etsy that are using mockups, whether that be handmade, digital, or print on demand, there are multiple types of business models on Etsy using mockup images. It's not just print on demand business owners who are affected from this new wave of Etsy listing deactivations. And that's something that's really important to note here. Yes, it has happened primarily more to print on demand business owners and one of the common threads has been mock-ups, but does that conclude and provide evidence that this is for sure mock-ups in total? No, it does not. And with that being said, I'm not here to provide any statements from Etsy in this video. I'm not Again, an Etsy representative, I'm just an Etsy seller who has been through waves of bot sweeps before. And this looks a lot like a bot sweep that we've seen time and time again on various platforms, not just Etsy. So with that being said, I did want to go over what we know, my theories of what's happening. Again, the bot sweep, that's a theory that's not confirmed. The mock-up situation, that's a theory not confirmed. But I first wanted to address what we know. So the first thing that we know is 
is that Etsy has suspended and deactivated listings in the past week. That is something that we know. Second of all, Etsy has deactivated listings from sellers who are handmade, digital, and print on demand. The third thing that we know is these deactivations have been with multitudes of reasons. One of the main ones is being violating the handmade policy, which people are attributing to mockups. Etsy has sent emails to students about them violating the handmade policy for the reason of using stock images, which are considered mock-ups. And that is one of the primary reasons and why a lot of people have been seeing this widespread chaos and panic in the Facebook groups. That is the main reason why I'm making this video today is because people have concluded from these posts that, hey, mock-ups aren't allowed, but Etsy's never made that statement. They have put on their policy, however, it does state on the policy that you are to use the mockups provided or photos provided from your print on demand partner or take your own photos. So that's why we have a portion of this video at the end where I'm gonna go over what to do, what I'm doing going forward. But just to say that the policy does state that, however, mockups have been around for the past five plus years and Etsy made this policy five years ago. They made it in 2018, which begs the question, if that were the case, then why have mock-up shops been on Etsy for this amount of time? Why have millions of listings used mock-ups? And why would Etsy be cracking down on this now? Don't know the answers to that. Again, this is just a video talking about the issue at large. But from this recent data, we see that mock-ups are of the main concern for a lot of sellers right now across Facebook groups, which is completely okay to wonder this and maybe change up how you're listing your Etsy listings, but I would watch this video in full because I'm going to explain what I'm doing going forward and my reasoning to that, and I think it's really important to address all the issues in this today as well. So with that being said, going along the lines of why Etsy shops are suspended so recently, it's not only because of the handmade policy violation, there's actually been a lot of suspensions recently for or infringement which has nothing to do with mock-up images. And I think this is where the widespread panic really started to set in because people started getting suspended left and right in the past week. And there is some coincidence of mock-ups being used, but one huge coincidence is that the infringement flags have came out in the past week, actually before listings got suspended for the mock-up usage reason. We don't know if that's for sure because Etsy has been back and forth in their support and in their chat about it. But from that data, we can see that Etsy has suspended prior to the mock-up situation for infringement of using logos and trademarks in pictures now. So if you have, let's say, Adidas hat on one of your models, or there's Adidas logo or Starbucks cup in a mock-up photo, you can get suspended for infringement for that reason now. And that's what has really swept Etsy recently. And I think some people may have mashed the two reasons together and immediately said, oh, it's the mock-up issue. It could be. I'm not saying that that's not the case. And by no means in this video am I dismissing anyone who has been suspended or had their listings deactivated. I'm just going over the fact that there is a lot of underlying layers to this and factors we do not know with every single case of person that got their listings deactivated or their shop suspended on Etsy. So those are really important concepts to think about during this time is we don't know everyone's factors of being suspended. What if one of their mock-up photos had a Starbucks cup in it? We don't know that. What if they had Adidas or some other logo that we have no idea if these shops had that? We don't know why Etsy suspended every single listing and it could be coincidence of the mock-ups used. However, it is very striking that there is a few mock-ups in total out of the listing suspended. But with that being said, I don't think that this is primarily one mock-up shop. 
I don't think that this is one mock-up issue at large. I think there's several factors and several layers to these recent suspensions. And it's kind of funny, the timing that this is right before quarter four. This has happened in previous years as well. And that's when Etsy tends to kind of systemize their bots so that during quarter four, maybe that will help them. But sometimes it just causes mass chaos for us sellers because we're like, hey, what's going on? And then we start developing these theories that aren't really proven as true yet. We don't know if these are true or false. People just start spreading rumors and their ideas like crazy. And that's kind of what happens. However, this time around, we do have many, many screenshots. We have many evidence pieces to kind of look at and kind of see, okay, is it this issue or is it not? But again, nothing's confirmed by Etsy. So we can't really draw any conclusions from everything. We can only talk about what we know, what we know as far as the hand made policy goes and what Printify is stating. So the fourth thing that we know that is actually quite a positive thing that I really wanted to share is a lot of those listings deactivated actually got reactivated in the past few days and the shops that got suspended got unsuspended on Etsy. So if you may be in full panic mode right now, if any of your listings got deactivated, please do contact Etsy as soon as you can because sometimes this is just a bot that auto suspends your shop and your shop might be in the clear and you just need a human to look over it. So please do contact Etsy as quickly as you can. You can go into your Etsy seller account and go to contact us in the help section on Etsy. That's one really easy way to go about contacting them. If you are locked out of your account because you're suspended, I would contact them per email. So now I want to go into what I'm doing and what I'm recommending to other people to do. And this is completely your preference. So you have two options right now with what's going on. One is to just keep doing what you're doing. And that's what I'm personally doing. The reason why is because even if you were to change your listings right now, I just saw a post on one of the Facebook groups that someone changed several of their listings to Printify mockups and their shop got got flagged and suspended on Etsy the same day. Now I'm not saying freak out and panic and be like, oh, I can't change my listings, but I can't do anything else. That's not the case. I would still keep listing as usual. And if you do have listings deactivated, I would contact Etsy and just say, hey, what's going on? What should I do? Now, one of the reasons why I'm still listing as normal is because I haven't had any listings deactivated. And the mock-up shops that people have been saying have deactivated deactivated their shops or are the reason why their shops have been suspended. Those mockups I'm using in my shop still, and I have hundreds of listings using these mockups. So I don't think that the mockups are the problem completely at least. So with that being said, the second option that you have to take with this is changing your mockup images. Now, I don't recommend this right now because again, we have no confirmation from Etsy. We have no solid evidence that we need to change anything just because someone made a post in a Facebook group about their shop and this is their theory and why they're going to change all of their listing photos, that works for them, that's okay for them. But if Etsy didn't contact you directly, we don't know the full story of each listing. Some listings, there could be a different reason per listing, why a listing was suspended. I made a video in the past and I'm looking to make an updated video on why Etsy shops get suspended, why listings get flagged and removed or deactivated on Etsy, but usually the main reason is copyright infringement. And given this can be accidental, right? You could have accidental infringement just by posting a listing that has a mock-up now with an Adidas hat maybe blurred out in the background. There are so many reasons for listing deactivations and it's usually not one thing. Sometimes it can be multiple things. And that's one thing that I want to note. However, there is a coincidence of multiple mockups that have been used that Etsy is flagging right now. And I don't want to dismiss that fact because I've seen that with multiple shops and I have messaged a lot of people now that have had this coincidence. So there's no confirmation by Etsy on this, but I thought I would mention that in this video as well. So here's my positive takeaway with all that is happening and what I wanna address going forward. The first thing to note is that when 
big events and kind of mass panic and chaos happen like this about one platform, a lot of people like to jump ship and go to a new platform or leave Etsy completely. Now, the good thing is if you're staying on Etsy and you decide to adapt and change, let's say that in the scenario that mockups are truly the problem on Etsy, then if you were to stay on Etsy, change your listings and adapt to Etsy's policy changes, you could potentially do really, really well with your Etsy and print on demand business because you're in niches that are now undersaturated and a lot of your competition has left. Now, given a second thing I want to address is if you're looking to pivot with all that's going on and by pivoting, I mean going to a different platform or instead selling digital items, that's always an option for you. And the designs you created with your print on demand business, you can turn into SVGs and PNG files to sell for commercial use license to support print on demand business owners. Those are always options for you and there's always ways to pivot in your businesses. Now, what I'm personally doing is I am doing what I've been doing since the beginning. I'm still using mockups. I'm still supporting mockup businesses. I do really believe my mockups do increase my conversion rates. Now, if Etsy were to say, hey, mockups aren't allowed, again, this is a theory. We do not have confirmation from Etsy. But if this were to happen going forward, here are things that I would personally do. I'm not doing this right now. Again, I'm listing as normal. But if Etsy made a statement and said, hey, stock photos aren't allowed, mockup images aren't allowed, or if they emailed me directly, this is what I would personally do. So for one, I would use Printify mockups and I would remove the backgrounds of Printify if I mock ups and edit these so that they are unique to my brand and my business. Now, Etsy has not said that that is okay by any means. That is something that I have read in Etsy's handmade policies. That is just my perception of Etsy's handmade policy is we can remove the background and edit this to be more high converting for our customers. With that being said, I do have Etsy listings that have a white background and they have sold on repeat. So having a white background isn't going to be the end of the world, guys. I know like that was the common thing to say in Etsy Facebook groups lately is people were like, I don't want to use white background images and the images provided by print on demand providers for me and my experience. I have had a lot of listings that have sold with the white backgrounds. I won't say that it's higher converting though. I will say that I rather have a model mock-up, but you still can get sales with a white background. That's not the impossible, right? Second thing that you can do is you can order samples and take your own product photos. Now, this would be a lot to do and a lot of investment. I would recommend the third method that I'm going to speak about, which is asking for customer reviews and specifically photo reviews so that you can use those photo reviews as your main listing photos. I've seen this time and time again on Etsy and this really makes your listings unique. So if you're established stop on Etsy and you just wanna go with this method already, I don't think that's a bad thing because again, you have unique mock-up photos. So I did wanna say at this point of the video, please do ask your customers for permission to use those photos as well. And then when you're asking for photo reviews to your customers that were previous customers, you can always state along the lines of, I'm a small business and this would help my business if you were to give a photo review as well with your purchase and can we use this photo in our listing images as well after they post it. I would go about that just so you have some real photos of your products and Etsy has no question about your listings because that is an accurate depiction of your listings that you've created with your print on demand provider. Now, the fourth thing that you can do is do you have returned products? If you have any returns or exchanges that you accepted, you can always take those return products and take pictures of them as well. So instead of buying samples of everything, you can take returns, you can do customer photo reviews. There's ways to get images without having to spend so much on sample orders. If you have listings that did really well, it would probably work out if you took a few sample photos and were able to do that. But it's always good to order a few samples when you first start off with Etsy and print on demand. So if you're newer to the platform, 
I still would recommend ordering samples anyways. I don't think you need to order a sample of every single listing you've ever created but that might help your business going forward to get the feel of how your products look like when they are delivered to your customers. So with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that this provided value for a lot of you guys, and I would love to hear your stories down below. If you were deactivated or suspended, if you would like to share in the comments, also like this video, share it to more people to hopefully spread the calm during the widespread panic that we've seen in the past week. Besides that, let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Again, at the end of this video, I am not an Etsy representative. I'm just sharing my own opinions and basically what I think is happening. Etsy is still the number one platform that I would recommend to anyone. I know it's upsetting and frustrating when we have situations like this and we don't really have clear statements from the company and platform that we're selling on. But one thing I did wanna address at the end of this video is to always seek out a second income stream if entrepreneurship is your only occupation. And this is something that I did when I began and I started seeing sales and I was about to quit my job. I ended up opening up a Shopify account because I wanted to have more control over my business as far as having an email list and having social media things like this can really ground your business in the long run and even if you are on etsy i highly recommend having social media having an email list because if you ever go off of the platform you can go on to a new platform or your own website one day and that would be the ultimate goal for any business because third-party platforms are just third-party platforms they aren't your business you are only a seller on their platform and that's something that's really important to think about as you go forward given etsy is a really great place to start that's where i found my main business and how i was able to grow so quickly and rapidly in the etsy algorithm and having multiple daily sales to the point that I quit my nine to five. I attribute it to finding Etsy. When I was selling on Shopify, it was really hard for me to scale because you have to pay for ads and social media marketing and the Shopify subscriptions and a website. And not to say Shopify is a bad place to go. I think it was really incredible. I learned so much being on Shopify. And if I were ever taken off of Etsy, I would go to Shopify. But given it's just a little bit more scary as a new seller and a new business owner. And that's one of the reasons why I like Etsy because it's very beginner friendly. You don't need to know that much about marketing to enter into Etsy. And then Etsy you can use as a stepping stone to your next business. I really want people to think of Etsy as more of a stepping stone for their business instead of the end all be all because again, it's just a platform at the end of the day. It's the number one platform in my opinion, but again, you still want to have multiple income streams if you can for your business because that is something that's really important as far as stability goes. And if Etsy were to have a major change, we can at least go to a different platform. So with that being said, I know that kind of ended on a more serious note that maybe people don't want to hear, but I always recommend having a different website maybe, or at least an email list at the very least. I think an email list is a very powerful tool in your tool belt to have as a entrepreneur. So with that being said, that is it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one here.